Hey guys, it's Melanie. Today I'm going to be sharing part one of my um, wax and candle storage situation. I do get a number of requests to share how I store my candles, how I store all of my Scentsy bars, if I have any tips or tricks when it comes to organizing and keeping track of my collection. Um, so today is part one and next Sunday you guys will see part two which will be um, candles. Today I'm just focusing on wax melts and because um, I tend to mostly purchase from Scentsy, this is uh, should probably specifically be called Sensi Storage. Um, those are the, that's the particular brand of wax that I have the most of. When I purchased my first vendor wax purchase from um, Rose Girls last month, I actually just kept the box that the products were mailed in and just kept that box downstairs in um, my entryway. Uh, I have like a big console. It's not a table. It's like a console. It's like a buffet. <laughs> I have a buffet in my entryway and uh, I use it mostly for uh, wax storage or candle storage. Um, anytime that I am running low on uh, candles, I will come up here to the different places where I store everything. I will pick maybe like five or six candles or wax melts out and then bring them downstairs and pop them into that buffet that's in the entryway because it's kind of a central point downstairs. So when I finish a candle up, I will immediately go into the buffet, pick out another one, and then bring the used one upstairs to save my trash to share with you at the end of the month in my home fragrance empties. So that's kind of my system for keeping things uh, readily at hand. Um, back when we lived in our old house, uh, that house was significantly smaller and didn't have quite as much room for furniture and storage. And so in the case of our last house, I just kept everything in my filming room and I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit of a disaster. I feel very blessed to have significantly more closet space in this house, which has made organizing things a little bit better for me. Um, but a lot of what I'm gonna be showing you today in terms of how I store my wax melts specifically, I think is very much um, apartment or like smaller home friendly as well because what I use is stackable <laughs> and you'll see. Um, but yeah, that makes it really easy to be able to stack, you know, several containers high and still make it easy to get to what I want. The one thing that I don't do that I would probably recommend to you is, and I actually, I have a label maker. I don't know why I haven't made labels, but sometimes it can be helpful to label the outsides of your different containers um, just so you know what is inside before you go digging through like every single box or whatever um, that's something that uh, I know some of my girlfriends are really good about and they always know where everything is I don't know why I haven't done it myself <laughs> but you'll see that I don't really have that many containers um, I do tend to be the type of person that goes through my wax rather quickly, so there's that. Um, one thing that I would definitely recommend when storing both your candles and your um, wax melts, no matter what company they're from, is to keep things in a cool, dark area. So I wouldn't, for example, keep your wax melts either in a like unfinished basement type situation where it can get really, really cold or damp. I would not recommend keeping your wax melt in an attic where during the summer months it can get really, really hot. Um, I think the best place honestly is just if you have like a linen closet, maybe utilizing 
the bottom where there isn't any shelving potentially. Um, if you have room in your master closet kind of off to one side, um, if you buy like say, um, and I'm sure we all probably have these in our house if we have kids, but if you have those like three tiered like Sterilite drawers, um, you can often just tuck that into a corner somewhere and that can just be dedicated to wax storage. Um, there's definitely loads of different options. Um, another thing is um, if you can find cute baskets like this, you can even put these in some of like your, um, maybe underneath a coffee table or in a like console table type situation. You can put these in there and they're a little bit more decorative. Um, this one, for example, what I just recently purchased, no, I didn't, I purchased this last year. Um, I recently got some other baskets from Home Goods when I redid my closet. But these I actually purchased last year, and I think I got these at TJ Maxx. Same thing as <laughs> Home Goods, right? <laughs> Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods great places to look for more decorative type containers to hold your wax. Um, this one right here, you actually see these normally stacked in the background of my videos. I love these. I believe this is like a seagrass or something. It's a woven basket. Um, it's nice because it has a lid. It is um, ventilated because it has like the handles here on the side, which is nice, but um, when I would store wax melts in here, I could even smell them kind of wafting out because obviously this is not impermeable here. Like this isn't, um, you know, like completely sealed off. So it was kind of nice when I used to store my wax melts in here. I don't anymore because I'll, I'll show you where they're at now, but this was great because one, it had a lid, um, and two, it was very easy to get in and out of, and three, I, I could stack this. You know, you could do three high, um, and you can either just throw your bars in here or you can neatly kind of line them up. Um, I would do just um, layers. I would just have the bars kind of laying flat and I would arrange by particular scent because I am someone who purchases multiples of a scent that I really like. So for example, I had like three rows of like just happy birthday bars at one point. Um, the almond croissant um, that was in here before I switched things around a little bit. So um, yeah, there's lots of really great storage ideas at a lot of these discount stores. So if you have a TJ Maxx near you or a Marshalls or a Home Goods, hit those places up, see if there's something decorative that you really like, but you don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, the containers that you're gonna see in my closet when I take you guys back, um, they were from Target. And I think I got them actually, uh, it was at probably at an like after Christmas type sale where you know how um, Costco, not Costco, but like Target and stuff will just do a lot of like organizing type containers towards the beginning of the year after the holidays. That's where I pick those containers that are in there up. Also, you guys see behind me these Ikea um, bookshelves. <laughs> you can certainly use them as bookshelves. Um, you can turn that the other way so that it goes a long way up. I like it laying down like that. It's kind of a nice little console table in this room here and I can display things on it. But um, you can get lots of different types of um, containers that fit within this Expedite shelving system. I have the, obviously, the more natural, like, again, I, I, it's like seagrass or something. They're like the woven ones. You can get the, um, you can actually get little, um, like, doors that you can screw into the system so that you have a door that you can open and completely close. There's tons of ways to, um, customize this Expedite system. Obviously, Ikea has lots of other storage solutions as well. Um, I actually store a lot of my candles on the bottom shelf in this one, and you'll see when I do my candle storage video that I have candles in several different areas of the house, um, and that is because I'm still kind of working on whittling down my collection. Ideally, I would like to get it to a point where I just have like a few backup candles in my guest room closet, but 
You'll see when I show you guys that I'm slowly getting there. Um, it's process though. <laughs> getting through backup candles is a process for sure. So, but let's go ahead. I'm going to um, take you guys to the hallway closet where I store all of my wax melts and let's, let's take a look at how I do it. All right, friends, we are here in my hallway closet and, um, this is meant to be a linen closet, most likely, but I use it for, uh, obviously, storage. <laughs> I do have a lot of my boxes for my Scentsy warmers in here. I used to toss these boxes every time that I would get a new warmer, and then I learned my lesson that, oh, don't do that, because someday you might need to pack them up, either to move or whatever, and it might be nice to actually have a more... Um, appropriate protective box to put them in um, so yeah anyway uh, obviously some of the warmers I've already thrown away that one actually belongs in that box right there so I need to put it away but <laughs> yeah um, for example this one I tossed I tossed the box to that so but we're not here for this we are here for this level right here which is my Scentsy storage okay the way that I decide what goes into each of these containers is I basically group the fragrances by by like fragrances. So for example, in this drawer, um, which is really fantastic because obviously if I had more room, I could put another drawer on top of this and kind of stack them. But um, yeah, I in here, are all of my more gourmand type scents. So happy birthday, almond croissant, um, sugar cookie, vanilla bean buttercream. Um, over here we have pumpkin roll. We've got some caramel apple craze. We've got um, stroop waffle delight. So in here are any of my like foodie gourmand type scents. Um, I decided to put my bricks just kind of off to the side over here. Um, I can just stack them right here. This box contains my um, wallflowers from Bath & Body Works. I'm not currently using wallflowers in my house, so um, I just keep them all in here in case I ever do get back into them. And then these are the Sterilite containers that I was talking about from Target. I'll just take this one out. So you can see where labeling the outside might make it easier for me to see um, what is what type of fragrance is in each box. But um, these are super easy for me to pull out. And for example, in here I have these are mostly like fruitier scents. So lots of sweet plum pastry right here, some jeweled pomegranate, some honey pear cider. So I really do try to keep scents that are at least somewhat similar. So these are obviously mostly fruity scents. So I just keep them together. I don't actually find that the scents really commingle all that much. And you can see it's very easy for me to just pop this back in here and um, they just sit very nicely on top of each other. I could stack these like four or five high, um, but obviously we have a shelf right here. So what I really try to do is make sure that I don't outgrow these things here. Um, this is the maximum amount of bars that I would want to have at any given time. I do have a spring summer haul coming my way and that will probably fill out that and that I do have room in both of these and then there will also be a few things that will automatically go downstairs to be melted right away uh, but I do try to be careful to not order too much I don't want to get too far beyond this when it comes to my Scentsy collection, um, I'm very comfortable with this. I feel like I have lots of great choices, but it's not stressing me out. Um, obviously down here, <laughs> some of these things stress me out a little bit. Um, there is a little bit of candle rearranging that I will be doing before um, the video next Sunday um, because I do have some room elsewhere to finally get rid of these things in here. but. Anyway, for the time being, this is how I store my Scentsy. It works out great. This is a closet, again, in our hallway. 
We keep the temperature at a constant 66 degrees year round in our house. I know that seems really cold to some of you, but it, it works for us. We just put on a sweater if we're cold. Um, but yeah, so I would just recommend making sure that you put your, your wax melts and quite frankly, your candles in an area that doesn't get too hot. Um, you don't want these bars to sweat in any kind of way. Um, but yeah, I, I've never had a problem storing them this way. I highly recommend it. It is great. It's easy. It's pretty inexpensive to buy these containers. I mean, you can even buy storage containers at the Dollar Tree. So um, you don't have to go to Target. Um, you don't have to go to TJ Maxx. You can certainly find things at the Dollar Tree as well. So just kind of depends on what your budget is. So, But I do recommend labeling. I do actually have a label maker, as you can see. <laughs> These things are labeled. <laughs> Haven't gotten around to this part. So there you guys go. I hope that was helpful. Let me know how you store all of your wax melts and um, please subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.